So I found a very cool tool for creating mock APIs without any need for any databases with zero coding, literally zero coding. So just the thing that you should know is how APIs work. So stick with me to learn more about this. Hello and what's up guys, Medium Guy here. In this video, we're going to see how to use the JSON server package, which is available as an NPM package. We're going to see how to use it. The only thing that you should know is about what a JSON file is and how REST APIs work. We're going to actually test out the get, post, and delete methods, and we'll actually write no codes. So without any delay, let's get down to work. So in the official page for the npm package, the JSON server is simply available and installable with this very command. So I'll just go ahead and copy this. In the terminal, I'll say npm i. I'll pass the dash g to actually install it globally. So I'll hit enter. So the package is downloaded and ready for me to test it out. So moving back to the documentations, I'll move a little bit down over here as it is saying in order to start this server I'll copy this command and if I paste it over here in the terminal I'll hit enter and as you can see the server is running on the 3000 port and a db.json file has been created by default in this json file I've got three keys which two of them are arrays and one of them is a simple object and inside the posts I've got a JSON with the three keys ID, title and author and some random values over here so I'll go back to the documentations it says go ahead and visit this URL and if I actually open it in the new tab I see that the response is coming as a json which is the exact same data inside the json file inside the posts array so actually when i visit this url i make a get request to the slash post slash one which is the posts array the first item inside that array so if i remove the slash one at the end i should be actually seeing the full list so Right now there is only one data in it so I can actually make post request to the exact same URL in order to create items. So if I go to the terminal, I'll create another terminal over here by using curl with the header content type of application JSON and the request method post. The data that I'll be sending will be a JSON and the request URL will exactly be the same as we saw in the browser so if I hit enter I'll see that a new item has been added to the posts in the JSON file and also if I go back in the browser I'll make the get request again I see I now get two items also if I make a delete request I should be actually able to remove the newly added object so i'll say curl dash dash request delete and i'll pass the exact same url with the slash two at the end so i'm expecting to actually remove the second item in the post section so if i hit enter so actually it didn't remove it and by passing the 4 because the ID that I passed was 4 when, when I was posting it the 4 removed the item so if I again create the item I see that it's added over here and again if I make the delete request with the ID 4 I should see that it gets removed from the list so going back to the official documentations this has a lot of features we can make put requests to actually edit the objects and also we have paginations so in order to test it i'm just going to create some fake data 
so if i refresh you can see that i've got now five objects inside the array and as i can see over here with the with passing the query parameters page and limit i should be able to actually skip and limit the incoming response so i'll request for the page one with the limit of three i should actually get three objects and if i request for the second page because i only have five items i get the rest two items so this package has a lot of other cool features all without any need for coding this can come very handy in its own cases when we want to just create some mock apis without the need for any coding in a very short time just remember that this does not have any kind of authentication so like for example we have the q query parameter that we can pass in order to make a full text search in our lists just to test it out i'll pass and q equals one i'll request the page one because i'm expecting only one response so I get my response as expected so if i remove all the paths and query parameters just simply by going to localhost 3000 i see the home page to the api server which shows me the root keys that i defined in the json file so so as you can see i've got posts comments and profiles and over here again i have the same things with the count of the objects inside those lists so that's all for this video i hope you learned something new in this video if you have any questions any recommendations just go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below i'll put down my repository link so you'll be able to access the codes and configurations that i make in my videos and please don't forget to give a visit to my channel i've got cool videos about cool technologies also don't forget to like and subscribe and with that i hope to see you in the next videos